and your girl mimi nimekuanga nikitumika kanisani have been a praise and worshiper Ooh. nobody told me after i become a mom it will no longer be the same like before tumko tunamka hapa tunajitarisha mbio mbio and we go to church on time mimi na babe na time yenye inahitajika kukua hapo na kuwa niko hapo sahi tell me why i will wake up at 6 am in the morning or even earlier than 6 maybe some minutes to 6 on sunday morning i help my husband prepare go to church and he leaves the house before 8 he leaves by 7 something I wash the utensils, I do all those things, I take a shower and prepare myself by 7 or by 7:30. I'm already out of the bathroom. I love you. Just tell me why. Nikianza ku prepare baby. Ni maliza ni mvalisha if I'm if I'm showering him, if I'm bathing him in that early morning. Tell me why I should bathe him. Ni mvalisha nguo kama saa mbili ama tatu alafu saa zile tunataka kutoka unasikia mimi nishamaliza 7:30 nimemosha kumbalisha nguo kabla tumenzeni hizo vitu zote yani sijajua bado kwa rakisha it's challenging me by the time namaliza already ni saa tatu saa zile naona nimechelewa we want to leave in atia minahari twende church kabla maybe the first service imeisha <laughs> baby anataka kunyonya lazima tukae chini just tell me why should i wake up that early alafu nafika church then sijui kama ni cha hizo ya aki for now me aki mi mungu tu to have kunielewa because hii majukumu ni yetu tu yote sasa nitafanya nini na niliamua kukutumikia na bado niliamua kukuwa mama i'm not complaining that is what everyone should understand i'm actually enjoying this journey sana but that is how it has been from my side nikaamua wacha ni share na nyinyi hiyo kidogo ndio msidhani ngi atisaidi yangu ndio perfect kabisa no i also face the challenges and there is something that i saw on facebook this group the mothers ikanibamba sana na ikani encourage ikafanya ni ni take everything at a time ni siji pressure it has been it had been quoted if i get it i'll attach it somewhere hapa juu alikuwa yule alikuwa ameandika kukua motherhood sio competition your house doesn't have to be perfectly in order every time because everyone expects your baby to be well fed they expect your husband to be neat and well fed guys i hope you all are doing fine welcome or welcome back to our youtube channel in case it's your first time here thank you so much for clicking on this video and stopping by kindly feel free to join us leave us a comment down below like this video share and yeah to our returning subscribers thank you so much for always staying here we are so sorry aki we've been having issues with equipment za ku vlog especially on from my side my phone see on the previous video i told vlog i told you guys ilikuwa be spoiled so ilikuwa kwa fundi yani na ni kama vile yani once your phone imeharibika hivyo umepeleka kwa fundi ni kama vile tunasikianga huku nje ukigonjeka uende kwa mchawi ama kwa mganga ni mgani which is which i don't know i'm not even sure ugonjwa na tole wangu hapa inapelekwa kwingine that is what has happened with my phone iliamshwa ukakuwa na issue place ingine so ingine <laughs> place ingine so it's being hard for me to vlog and then not a, it's not always that we're together with Ben uh, na, his phone yes is that is good na ina operate na ndio ninatumia sai but si kila time to connect then unapata zile time yenye he's around the baby needs attention i have a lot to do yani i'm just up and down by the time namaliza nimechoka i don't even have the energy to sit down to do anything so unapata ku vlog inakuwa hard but i'm try we are trusting god i'll also get a good phone very soon and from there we'll be getting vlogs back to back back to back as for now wacha tu to cope na zile times and at least tunapata ka opportunity we vlog here and there tunawapostia Yeah so in today's vlog as you've read from the title I want to share with you guys my experience 
the downside of being a wife stroke mom as I wash these utensils. Mnaziona hapa uchafu ya jana usiku though at a sink mob zile ziko pale kwa sink that is what I want to big story with you guys while I'm doing nataka kuosha hizo nimalize because later on in the day majioni kabisa I'll be going for practice church na sitaki kuacha nyumba ikiwa chafu yeah so I need to decide me as I wash these utensils let me share with you guys because the downside of being a wife stroke mom because I've realized tangu nijifungue zile vlogs tu nimekuanga nikiwafanyia na zile niliwafanyia I've only been telling you the positive side the good side about being a mom being a wife and why it also has its downside kila kitu yenye kuna advantages like iko na yes advantages ama benefits lazima ikuwe na challenges msijali attention yangu inaenda huko because naona baby akijirusha amelala ni kama anahisi joto kila kitu yenye iko na side yake mzuri lazima ikuwe na challenges bit kama hizo aziezi kosanga aziezi kosa this is life ebu let me pause a bit i check on this boy yes where was i yeah as i was saying everything that has advantages or has a good side of it definitely there has to be challenges ama disadvantages so as for me i wouldn't call this disadvantages <laughs> they are not to me i take them as a challenge na zinanisaidia yanga every day to try improve ama pia i've learned somehow i've learned how to live with the challenges and how to take every day ama every moment at a time hakuna kujipea pressure yeah so i tell you to pick your story nikiwapea story side yangu your story how they have been copying the downside of it and uh, how i've been facing my challenges and how i've been living with them hizi vyombo si mingi ni kidogo tu sana mnaona vile nimeongeza wait lakini si sana but I've added some kgs <laughs> baby fat but i'm loving it mimi sijui kama nina kuna mtu anaona nikikaa fani ama but mimi ninaipenda so far so good yeah so sana sana kwangu kidi yangu mimi the first challenge i'll say i'm facing i'm a I've been facing and I'm kind of trying to know how to live with it because nimekuja ku realize haya haiko inaisha ni kama ndio mwanzo so I have to learn how to live with it the first first challenge and the the one that I was feeling like it was it's a really big deal to me it's how everything has had to change especially the way i used to do my house chores on time nazifanya once nikiwa nimaliza mfululizo hakuna interruption in between that has really changed <laughs> since baby came kwanza right now the stage we are in hey unamwacha pale juu ya kiti unageuka tu hivi ukitan chenye kinafanya utan ukisha geuka hivi ni nduru kama mtu uko chini mtu first of all he has fall, he has already fallen two times from the seat ili tuuma karibu tulie pia sisi kwanza the second time hiyo na ili tuwasha na mimi naweza sema makosa ilikuwa yangu because i was with him but sasa siwezi sema makosa ilikuwa yangu passe juu si kumwacha intentionally like nile haija ku hit bado ujamini this baby has grown amekuwa mkubwa to that extent so mimi nilikuwa na change diaper usiku ndio i was preparing him for bed haya si mimi nikamwekelea kwa kiti vile nimezoea ile kiti ndogo ya brown kama you've been here i'm sure you already know how our house looks like and what and what we had in the house so nikamweka kwa ile kiti ndogo ya brown nikamlalisha hapo nikamtoa hata siku mtoa diaper siku nimemtoa anything kumlalisha hapo <laughs> we live in a bed sitter so ukuta yetu ya kupartition sitting area na sleeping area ni curtains nikaingia nyuma ya curtains kama mtu amemaliza kuperform wakati wa drama festival ah, nikarudi backstage <laughs> nikaenda backstage kufanya nini kuchukua diaper launi na nguo za juu za kuchange baby because akishafida ama akicheza sana ana drool juu sahi pia ni kama ana it's kind of ana kuna kuna meno ni kama za chini zinataka kutokelezea so ana drool excess so ngono inakuwa baridi so every time we are going to sleep 
lazima ni mbadilishe nguo like kila kitu wewe ina change mimi nikachukua mtu wangu nikamlalisha kwa kiti nikakaa nikarudi huko nyuma sasa nyuma ya curtains tumeenda backstage <laughs> kuchukua ni <laughs> nguo za baby a change alive hey acha ni niwaambie i will never forget that day because kwanza tulikuwa na best yetu hapa pia aliwitness i'm sure alikuwa confused so sasa so, hawashi down in me because he is a parent sasa ke ni mkubwa so i'm sure yokuwa kesi yo kitu ndio vile alianguka bebe amenasha anamchukua anambembeleza na mimi nasikia kule anamwambia leta ni mnyonyeshe leta ni mbembeleze like naye anasema hapana acha ni mbembeleze kila mtu anaona mimi ndio nitamnyamazisha haraka acha nikwambie nili fungua tu hivi kati hata sikuwa nimeinama kwenye nilikuwa nachukua chenye nachukua kwa suitcase yake nilisikia tu ndu kitu imeanguka nikarudi nyuma kuangalia hey mtoto wako chini alianguka ana sidhani aliumia but alianguka kwa flow because hata ningekuwa nimetoa carpet cha hiyo impact ya ku roll from the seat mpaka kwa flow ndio inamshtua hiyo ku kwenda chini ndio ile kitu ilimshtua akapiga nduru alilia akalia akalia macho zikakuwa red hey <laughs> mtoto alilia babake anajaribu kumbembeleza hata nyamaza anamchukua hata nyamaza nikarudishia babake kambembeleza vile na mchezesha anga bibi akanyamaza kaambia nipeni nyonyesha nikamnyonyesha juu ya hasira alinyonya akalala nilimchenja kiwa melala yani siku hizi si mchezo so that is one of the things that inafanya ni same the way i was doing my health chores right now it has really changed siezi fanya kitu nimalize once ati bila kuachisha juu yake akiacha every i have to put everything on pause first nimshughulikie juu nikimwacha kwa kiti ataanguka kama ni kwa float nachezea nikimwacha hapo pia akikaa chini bado hajajua kukaa chini kabisa kuna kitu ambakisha tu kidogo hajaweza kujisupport kabisa ile anataka akona shughuli mingi anageuka hivi either anaanguka na side ama anarudi nyuma bata na kaa so inabidi namkalisha Haya that is number one. Kufanya house chores siezi fanya house chores nikamaliza kama hajahitaji kushughulikia. Sasa hii siendi mbali. So kama ni vyombo napatanga hata sasa hii advantage ni ninafanya video na melala pale. Advantage ni I'm from washing him. So akioga akinyonya huwa analala for like straight two hours. Sasa hii ni joto ndio ilikuwa inamsumbua ndio maana yake alikuwa anajirusha rusha. So hivyo vile amelala ni take advantage ni yoshe hizi mbio mbio. If I don't do that right now trust me hizi vyombo zitapatana na sasa hapa hapa. <laughs> So that is how this day is it is. So kufanya house chores kwangu inakuwa challenging. It's not like before I was a mom and right now kwa stage yako I've already told you. It's kind of challenging but we are managing. That is the first challenge. Then the other one is yani ni kama zote zina revolve around house chores. Hiyo sasa nimepiana ni kama ya vyombo kupanga nyumba hizo sasa uto tudogo tudogo. Then now the major one ni kuvua nguo. Watu wangu, acheli niwaambie, mimi kutoka kitambo tangu nikiwa nyumbani, even my mom knows that. Even all my sisters I'm sure they know. Mimi nipatie hata kama ni nyumba ya bedroom ngapi, ni kuosha ni kupangie, I will organize for you perfectly. Nitakuorganizea bila ku complain. I love organizing things that is me. Nitakuorganizea roho safi zote bila kuchoka na bila kuteta. But where we draw the line is kufua nguo. Ah ah. Sijawahi penda kufua nguo. Hadi siku nyingine nilikuwa naambia babe na mwambia. Kuunga na nguo za karatasi unavaa unatupa that is what we will be using. Eh, hey, jukai kufua nguo na si mchezo. Even the other, I always tell him and even the other day I was telling my small sister wakati Mungu atafubariki mimi I've never had interest in baking so I think we'll first of all invest in washing machine kabla ya kuka afadhali ni save up ni nunue kubwa once hata yes I know cookers mostly naweza pata cheaper kuliko washing machine but me I think tuta invest kwa kuka kabla tununua washing kwa washing machine before we buy the cooker because mimi kufua kutoka kitambo I've never liked washing tangu nikiwa nyumbani ile tu lazima tuvae nguo safi sasa challenge inakuwa zaidi ni 
can imagine kutoka ukitambo nikiwa home zilikuwa zangu pekee na nina feel challenge nikaoleka zikakuwa za watu wawili I as the wife I have to make sure my clothes and my husband's clothes are clean as siende akiwa na nguo chafu because definitely bwana kwa kitambia kiwa mchafu kwa hiyo hata muona yeye wanasema tu bibi yake ni mchafu so kumeongezeka role ya mtu mwingine ni nguo zangu pole ni kuna kelele amsho ina hiyo ina sikika basi hawako wanachomelea sasa ni mimi ni wasumbua ameanzia saa hii wanachomelea huko nje so you will excuse me for that so naona nimeoleka nguo za bwana pia zimejiongeza sasa now that i've become a mom na unajua katoto hakavai nguo mbili kwa siku kama sisi ati ya juu na ya chini hu anavaa nguo mingi alafu he has to change zenye amevaa asubuhi sisi watashinda nazo the whole day maybe amedrool imekuwa baridi maybe nimemtoa diaper amejisusulia you have to change him you see so kumejiongeza za mtu mwingine na sio moja ama mbili ni kama mara tatu kwa siku and you're the one who's supposed to wash them mimi i'm supposed to wash all that so unapata mara zingine aki eh ngo was in an overwhelm was in a pile zero pile like right now if i show you guys the heap i have the nguo if i'll manage na kama nikipata hizo gas nitawarekodia hiyo heap ya nguo yenye niko nayo and i have the bit to look after muniambie hata wewe ingekuwa wewe utafeel hiyo challenge ni mingi ziko hapo ni mimi zimeangalia so what i usually try to do these days nilisema mimi sitajua na pressure na kazi mingi Boris atubai nguo chafu mtu ako na nguo ya kuvaa safi tosheka si lazima uone zote zikiwa safi <laughs> you must uone zote zikiwa safi you just bear with me bora kwenye unaenda ama tena unavaa nimekufulia you have clean clothes to put on at that time just bear with me for now because yo it's not an easy task nguo zinanilemea so that is the second challenge about clothes then in gine mimi na Uldin say it's a challenge to me but right now on Sunday there's a mama who was asking me kwa church sasa huyu ukitaka kwenda unaweza achia mtu we are almost standing half a year very soon and guys I've never left my baby to someone ama for someone nikaenda mbali sijawahi so mimi sijui vile kutakuwa but sijawahi again mimi I have never felt that his baby ni kama ni baba na tulikenda mahali nataka kumwacha. So I think ile kitu yenye hata ni sumbu wangu ati nataka kufanya ni nataka ati kumwacha nikienda place. Mimi sijai feel ikiwa baba. So mimi I always carry him to wherever I'm going. Now place yenye na feel ikiwa challenging is kwenda na yeye have no issue na endanga na yeye. Kama ninaenda mbali tuseme ninatoka hapa nimeenda 45 kwa soko am in need of something kumbeba kwa mgongo ni mbebe na shuka kufunga kwa kifua nikirudi <laughs> nasikia anga kama inangoka his heavy guy kumbeba kwenda kurudi sasa akose alale mimi sijui mani wangu pekee ama inakuanga hivyo ebu the moms who are watching this mtuambie ukibeba mtoto akosawa kuna feel hizo kilo zunaweza acha alale ni kama huwa na double the kg i don't know how but that is how it has been from my side akilala na sikia akiwa mzito by the way mnafika kwa nyumba na huyu naye anasulizanga yako kwa mgongo alale sikia tu joto na analala sasa by the way mnarudi kwa nyumba na sikia kama kifua inangoka alafu these days mara zingine huwa na avoid kum, mara most huwa na avoid kumbeba na kari these days juu naonanga kama inamchosha so I prefer kumbeba sana na leso juu. Already amekuwa mkubwa then mashughuli shughuli yako nazo mingi. So nambeba na shuka. Kufunga kwa mgongo. Wewe nikirudi nasikia kama kifua inangoka. So that is another challenge from my side what else? But it's like this journey ya motherhood kwangu na feel it, it's like it has advantages mingi kuliko challenges. What else? Eh uh, eh. Hey. The other thing is I've already told you guys jioni nitaenda church. We went back to church. And your girl mimi nimekuanga nikitumika kanisani I've been a praise and worshipper. Oh, nobody told me after I become a mom it will no longer be the same like before. Tumekuwa tunamka hapa tunajitayarisha mbio mbio and we go to church on time. Mimi na babe 
na time inahitajika kukua hapo na kuwa niko hapo saa hii tell me why hmm? i will wake up at 6 am in the morning or even earlier than 6 maybe some minutes to 6 on sunday morning i help my husband prepare go to church and he leaves the house before 8 he leaves by 7 something I wash the utensils, I do all those things, I take a shower and prepare myself by 7 or by 7.30. I'm already out of the bathroom. Alafu, just tell me why. Nikianza ku prepare baby. Ni umaliza ni mvalisha if I'm if I'm showering him, if I'm bathing him in that early morning. Tell me why I should bathe him. Ni mvalisha nguo kama saa mbili ama tatu alafu saa zile tunataka kutoka unasikia mimi nishamaliza 7:30 nimemosha kumbalisha nguo kabla ya tumenzeni hizo vitu zote yani sijajua bado kwa rakisha it's challenging me by the time namaliza already ni saa tatu saa zile naona nimechelewa we want to leave in at ya minahari twende church kabla maybe the first service imeisha <laughs> baby anataka kunyonya lazima tukae chini just tell me why should I wake up that early alafu nafika church ten sivi kama ni cha hizo eh aki for now me aki mi mungu tu tahabu kunielewa <laughs> because hii majukumu ni yetu tu yote sasa nitafanya nini na niliamua kukutumikia na bado niliamua kukuwa mama i'm not complaining that is what everyone should understand i'm actually enjoying this journey sana but that is how it has been from my side nikaamua wacha ni share na nini hiyo kidogo ndio msidhani ya kisaidi yangu ndio perfect kabisa no i also face the challenges and there is something that i saw on facebook this group the mothers ikanibamba sana na ikani encourage kafanya ni, ni take everything at a time ni siji pressure it has been it has been quoted if i get it i'll attach it somewhere hapa juu alikuwa huyo alikuwa ameandika kukua motherhood sio competition your house doesn't have to be perfectly in order every time because everyone expects your baby to be well fed they expect your husband to be neat and well fed too they expect your house to be clean as all as like every time the utensils to be clean kila kitu ikuwe safi motherhood is your competition do everything at your own pace because vile sasa size unaona na usha vyombo this time maybe ni, ni zitangara nyumba ikuwe safi kabla baby amke kesho itakuwa hivyo itakuwa a different way labda kesho utakuja time kama hii utakaribishwa na, na maziombo kwa sink because unaona hii bed sita kwa mlango unapata tuna sink maybe kesho utakuja unapata na diaper chini ya meza juu nimemchange tu saa hiyo anataka kunyonya nitaweka mtoto wako aliye Atimenda ni tupa diaper ndio wewe mgeni kukuja usipate kwa kuchafu. So ukienda kwa mtu mwenye ako na mtoto, manze just understand us. Msitujudge, don't over don't overthink and don't judge us because I'm telling you it's not easy. But mpaka ufike hapo ndio unaweza elewa vitu zingine zenye nasi. So yeah, that's how it has been from my side and who we are trying to cope and I'm really trying hard na Mungu at least anasaidia sasa simnaona nimemaliza kuosha vyombo tu in 20 minutes tukipiganga story ni vijiko tu nimemaliza nimebakisha so yeah those are the things that i feel like sasa hii zina challenge hivyo kiasi hizo tu mangu house chores tu na maybe when i want to go somewhere it's not like before i'll definitely take longer than the way i used to prepare when we were just the two of us but so far so good i thank god the journey is amazing the baby is growing perfectly The boy is healthy. He's still handsome like his dad. <laughs> and yeah, I thank God. And I'm grateful. So these are the challenges mothers wana pitianga huku nje. So ukienda kwa mtu mwenye ako na mtoto, if you can, just help. Usimjaja ati umepata vyombo zote ni chafu. Usimjaja umepata diaper chini ya meza ama, ama sitting room. Usimjaja ati umepata nyumba ijafagiliwa. Usimjaja ati umepata sijui mtoto hajaoshwa bado. Usimjaja, usimjaja, usimjaja. That's all I can say. Especially wale moms wenye wako position kama yetu, kama yangu. At the moment we can't afford a nanny and I'm okay with that. Njuta na mtu niende anajuanga. Mtu ndiye anajuanga uwezo yao penye imefika. 
So, wenye sisi ya tuwezi ya Ford nani izu, kikuja kwe tu, wewe, asi umujaona kitu, si tu judge, kaa tu vile tunaka na vile tu umepata na utosheke. <laughs> so, that's it for this vlog. Ache ni nikamua utu tu vijiko, nioshe hizi sufuri ya mbili, nimalize nione kama kabla boy ya mke, nitakua nime manage kufagia carpet, nioshe flow. Yeah, until the next time you see another video in this channel have yourselves a lovely time and stay tuned very soon we are going to welcome baby tajiri in our vlogs we will no longer hide him because we feel like it will be good to involve him from as early as now and yaki grow up yet to to namonye shanga this is how you used to behave and this is you we also include we used to include you in the videos ajioni at least at asura sindio so stay tuned very soon we are gonna reveal we are gonna welcome stroke reveal baby tajiri to the online family so guys have yourselves a lovely time thank you so much for supporting me and please share this video tell a friend to tell another to subscribe to our channel to like our videos and please leave us a comment down below until the next video have yourselves a lovely time and always remember to protect your happiness bye bye guys we love you